What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Autobox Defender Series case for the iPad Pro. We're going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys all around. Links for this will be in the description box below, so make sure you guys check that out. Now, this is going to be compatible for iPad 11 inch, first, second, third, and even the newest one, which is the M2 iPad Pro. This is in its fourth generation, and that's because the body basically remains the same. So right in front of the packaging we have here that it is drop plus two times tested for military standard which offers rugged protection and it does come with a built-in screen protector however i'm gonna take the screen protector out because i don't like the screen protector on the defender series so i'll show you guys what i mean by that in the back we have more details of the case we can see that it comes with a really nice port protection screen protector has a versatile device stand it's multi-layer defense and it has a storage for the ipad for the apple pencil and with every Autobox Defender series, you do get a limited lifetime warranty, which is great. So make sure you register that on the Autobox website. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so this is the actual case here. As you can see, this comes with an integrated screen protector, which again, I'm gonna show you guys how to take that out. Comes with a little holster here to put on the actual case. I personally don't like to use this personally, but it does come with an integrated stand. So that way you can basically place the iPad like this or standing up like this. But again, not my not the best thing here because you do have to carry this around. All right, so to take this out, we're basically going to remove the outer rubber piece out first. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna locate the bottom, which is right over here. We're gonna basically take this apart and start pulling it apart. And then once you pull out the bottom piece, you can start gently taking your fingers and taking the rubber piece out little by little. Then you wanna go all around the case. All right, so now that we have the rubber piece out, then we have the harder shell here. So you can see that we have tabs indicating where all the tabs are at, all these arrows here. So we're basically going to push it down on each one of these arrows. All right, now we have the actual piece out. All right, so this is the actual front piece of the case. Now this comes with an integrated screen protector and I don't really like this one because it really has, um, it has a really plastic feel to it. It doesn't feel nice at all. Even when you run, the, run across the fingers, it's not a really smooth experience. Um, now on my iPad, I have the Autobox Amplify Glass installed, which is really nice and smooth. So to basically utilize the actual screen protector that you that you might have installed on the iPad, um, I basically recommend removing the screen protector. So right in the back, we can see that the screen protector is basically held in by this double-sided tape. So all we have to do is apply some force to pop it out. So after that, we can see that the built-in screen protector is out. And again, really cheap plastic thing here. So I really recommend taking it out and installing an actual screen protector. You will have a way better experience than the screen protector because over time, this gets ruined and it gets really bad. So with that out, you'll notice that there's still a couple of uh, double-sided tape here. So if you want, you can take the time and peeling this out over time. All right, so I got the majority of the double-sided tape off. Um, again, if you want to take even more time and making sure there's nothing uh, on it, you can definitely take your time, but as long as you have the majority of it, you should be perfectly fine. And believe me, this will definitely be a way better installation. So to put it on, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom piece over here 
and we're gonna take our iPad, we're gonna line it up with the camera. And then we take the top piece, we're gonna locate the top notch over here, and then we're going to basically align, and we're gonna start applying pressure all around the case until you hear some clicks all around. Definitely wanna make sure each of these arrows are pressed in. So you can see it, the outer shirt is the outer shirt was perfectly installed. All right, so to put this on, all we're going to do is we're going to take our iPad and we're going to line it up, and we're going to basically push the rubber and line it up with the actual case. And then you're just basically going to take your time and closing the gap over here. So we're just going to basically apply a little bit of pressure and it should go inside. And then we basically push down the center circle and we make sure we have the port covered. And just like that, we have the case successfully installed, as you can see here. Now with the screen protector off, you can see that the glass is basically protecting the front of the iPad, which is a lot better than this plastic film. So the actual glass provides way better protection than this one over here. So if you want the ultimate protection, remove the screen protector and get yourself a really nice screen protector like this Autobox Amplify glass. So let's go ahead and take a look around the case. Starting with the bottom here, we can see the opening for our speaker grills are right over here. And then we have the nice port cover and this is going to cover up our type c port and whenever you're done you can basically put that back down and this is in the black color so it's nice and sleek you can see the ridges over here for the outer shell and then we have a nice opening i believe this is for a microphone or something like that and then on the top we have our two additional cutouts for the two speakers and extra cutouts here for probably like a microphone and then we have a rubberized button for the power button and then the last side over here we have the volume marker covered in a nice rubberized button and this over here is the actual tray that's going to house your app your apple pencil and you'll notice that i have this rubber piece out so I forgot to place that in and whenever you want to store your your Apple Pencil, right over here, there's like an indentation here. You kind of just take this out. It opens up and it basically allows you to put your Apple Pencil right over here. As you can see, the magnet, the magnet charge right over here. And then when you're done, you can basically place it back just like that. Let's go ahead and test out the actual buttons here. I'm gonna start it off with the volume rocker here. So the volume rocker feels nice and smooth. Same thing goes for the power button. Very easy to press. And locate, locating on the top of the case over here, we have a lot of space over here, which allows the front sensors to do its job. Right on the back of the case, we have a nice clean design with the Autobox logo embroidered on the bottom. We have a nice cutout that shows off the Apple logo and there is an integrated screen protector here as well so you don't have to worry about this Apple logo getting scratched. And then we have a really nice opening for the camera lens as you can see it's raised very very high. So you don't have to worry about your camera lens getting damaged at all. You're pretty much fine. Alright so once you have it installed if you guys want to know how to remove this basically all you have to do is in reverse order, basically start with the bottom tab, basically open this here. And then you flip it over, you pull it out, now it exposes the rubber piece and then all you gotta do is run your finger all around. All right, and then with the rubber piece out, all we have to do is take off basically the hard shell. And again, with the arrows indicating all the tabs, you're basically going to take your finger and then you're basically going to push it down on each one of these. Now, depending on how long the case has been on your iPad, sometimes the tabs could be very difficult to pull apart. Um, so be, be careful because sometimes it might hurt your fingers. 
but since this since I just put this on, it's not that hard. And then you can also remove the tray. And then with that piece, now we have the actual iPad out. And now your iPad is basically free. That's how you would basically take it off. A lot of people like to ask me how to remove this. So there you go. So basically all in all guys, the Autobox Defender series for the iPad Pro 11 inch is definitely one of the best rugged cases that you can buy for your iPad. The only thing that I don't like is the integrated screen protector, but as long as you guys remove it and, and combo it with a nice screen protector like this Autobox Amplify Glass, then I believe you have the best protection, the best of both worlds. You got a really nice smooth screen protector and you got a really nice solid case here. And I think this black color looks really nice and sleek with a space gray iPad. It does add maybe a little bit of bulk, not as much as you, you, you might assume. It doesn't add that much bulk. And that's because the iPad Pro is very slim in itself. So it doesn't add too much bulk at all. So all in all guys, I do recommend the Defender series. As long as you remove that screen protector, you should be perfectly fine. What do you guys think of this Defender series? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, guys.